You most likely won't always be working with pre-existing audio files or importing files you created in other applications into Audition. Depending on the type of work you do, you may frequently create your own audio files in Audition itself. Audition is a great tool for direct recording, whether you're doing voiceovers, performing music, or just about any other project that requires you to get audio into Audition from a live source. Now, Audition receives audio from whichever device you've selected under your preferences, which as you may recall we looked at in the first chapter. Just as a quick review, go to Audition Preferences, or if you're on Windows, Edit Preferences, and choose Audio Hardware. And again, this is where you choose your device class and then your default input and output devices. So maybe you have a USB microphone that you want to record with, in which case you'd select it from the default input menu. Or maybe you have a guitar connected to a mixer which is plugged into your computer's sound card, in which case you'd select your sound card's line in. Whatever the case, just make sure you select the device you want to record with from the default input menu. If you don't see the default input and output menus, you're probably working with an ASIO device on Windows, in which case you'll see a settings button which will open your user preferences for your sound card, which you'll then be able to use to select your input device. For this example, I'm going to stick with my built-in line input. The microphone I'm currently speaking to you with is connected to a mixer that's outputting audio into my Mac's line in. So I'll just click OK to close preferences. And the actual recording part is pretty simple. I could either choose File, New, Audio File to create a new single track file, or I can just click the Record button down here at the bottom of the editor, which does the same thing, and it's going to prompt me to give my recording a name. Just call this First Recording. I'm going to leave the rest of these settings at their default, the sample rate, the channels, and the bit depth. We'll be talking about these settings more in the next chapter on terminology. So I'll click OK. And now it's actually recording as I'm speaking. I just press the space bar to stop it. Now in this case, I wasn't ready to start recording, but let's hear what we have anyway. Click OK. And now it's actually recording as I'm speaking. So you can see it immediately captured what was coming through my microphone. If I don't want any of that, I can just choose Edit, Select, Select All, or press Command or Control A, and just hit the Delete key on my keyboard to delete it. Now that I'm actually ready to record, I can get my mouse button over the Record button, and when I'm ready, I'll click it and speak. Adobe Audition CS6 is a fantastic tool for complete audio recording and editing projects. And I just press the Stop button when I was ready to stop recording. And that's pretty much how you make a recording in Audition. It's really that simple. Again, to listen to my recording, I can just bring my playhead back to the beginning. I'm just going to click somewhere in here to deselect. And then I'll press the spacebar to play. Adobe Audition CS6 is a fantastic tool for complete audio recording and editing projects. Now, if you want to add to your recording, you can either place the playhead at the end or wherever you want to start recording again, and then just click Record Again. You can also do what's called punching in, which is when you let your file play back and then press the record button at the moment where you want to jump in and add to the recording. You'll often see this done when recording music. Maybe the guitarist was playing a solo and didn't quite get the last half of the solo correct. You can roll the recording back, start playing it back so the guitarist can play along with it, and at the moment you want to start re-recording again, you just hit the record button, and hopefully it will sound like one continuous guitar solo. But for example, I'll just add a little to the end of the recording, and I'll do it live by rolling this back, and when the playhead reaches the end, I'll press record to continue adding to this recording. Adobe Audition CS6 is a fantastic tool for complete audio recording and editing projects. It's also extremely useful to clean up noise and other unwanted sounds from your audio files. So you can see there it's selected the part I just added. It recorded over what was originally there, which was basically just emptiness. But now I have what seems like one continuous take. Adobe Audition CS6 is a fantastic tool for complete audio recording and editing projects. It's also extremely useful to clean up noise and other unwanted sounds from your audio files. And you'll probably find it useful to learn the keyboard commands for playing, stopping, and recording. As you've probably heard me using it, the space bar starts and stops playback. And you can start and stop recording with shift space. Notice you'll see that command pop up here. And you'll find it much easier and faster to work with these commands instead of clicking the buttons down here in the playback controls. Now notice I have this asterisk next to my recording's name in the Files panel, which again indicates to me that I haven't saved this file yet. So if I'm happy with this recording I made, I want to make sure I choose Save. Asking me to save it into a location. I'm going to leave all these settings the way they are, and just click OK. Now there are definitely some things we could do to tidy up this recording, like maybe trimming the beginning and the end, maybe getting rid of some of this gap here in the middle, and maybe even running it through some effects. But we'll take a look at how to do those sorts of things later in the chapter on working in the editor.